All right, so we have, we're going to look at complex numbers, and we're going to look at converting from rectangular to trigonometric form. I've got another video you can check out. It's going from trigonometric to rectangular form. All right, so just to take a look at this, we're going to, it's going to, the complex number is going to be in rectangular form, which is x plus y times i, or, you know, some books put a plus bi, same thing. We'll use the x plus y. All right, and then the trigonometric uh, trigonometric form is r times cosine theta plus i times sine theta. All right, so this is what we're going to be given in rectangular form, and so we need to find r and theta. So to do that, we're going to use this to find r, that's x squared plus y squared, see there's your x and your y, and then to find theta, we're going to use the fact that we know tangent theta is equal to y over x. There's your y, there's your x. Okay. Alright, so let's take a look at the first problem. So let's write this in trigonometric form. Alright, so first thing we can do is we can identify x is equal to negative square root of 3 and y is equal to, there's a 1 there in front of the i. Alright, so I guess first we'll just go ahead and find r. So that's the square root of negative square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared. So that's going to be 3 plus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So there's r. r is 2. All right, now let's look at this. Tangent theta is y over x, y over negative square root of 3. Or we could also, if we rationalize the denominator, remember that, negative square root of 3 over 3. Okay, so there's tangent theta. Now, if you notice, tangent theta is negative. Okay. So theta, which quadrant is it in? Well, if we look at it, tangent is negative in the second and fourth quadrant. Well, which quadrant is it? Okay. So whenever you're going from rectangular to trigonometric form, always plot the complex number. Your x is negative square root of 3, your y is 1. So I'm going to go over negative square root of 3 and up 1, okay? And that point would be somewhere in there. We don't care about where it is exactly. We're just, all we're concerned about is which quadrant it's in. Okay, so x is negative, so I move to the left. Y is positive, so I move up. So I know it's up here, okay? All right, so this is what we're looking to find, theta, okay? So... Hopefully you remember back to when you did uh, reference angles. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find our reference angle. Okay. So to find my reference angle, remember, remember your reference angle is always that angle in the first quadrant. It's always between 0 and 90. So remember to find that, I'm going to take this tangent theta, it's my reference angle, is equal to positive square root of 3 over 3. Change that to a positive because when I do the inverse tangent, that's going to give me this angle here in the first quadrant. Okay. At this point, you should know how to do this. I'm just going to review it for you. So this tells me my reference angle well, tangent is equal to square root of 3 over 3, so theta is what? 30 degrees. So there's my reference angle. This is 30 degrees. And so now I can get theta. So theta is equal to 180. 180 minus 30, which is... 150 degrees. 
Okay. So now, let's move this up. So negative square root of 3 plus i, that converted to trigonometric form is r, which is 2, times cosine theta plus i times sine theta. And this would be your answer. And then I'm sure you've seen this. I don't know if you well, I don't know if you've seen it or not. But this can also be, also be written as, and they call it a compact form or abbreviated form. Instead of writing all that out, you can write that cosine i sine. So this is just the abbreviated form of it. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at a couple of more. All right. So here we write the complex number in trigonometric form. All right, so let's see, x is equal to, well, in this case, it's 0. See, this, this right here would be the same thing as 0 minus 3i, okay? y is negative 3, and so r is the square root of 0 squared plus negative 3 squared. Oh, negative 3 squared. I already said it's... should be a 2 and so r is 3. Well now we got to find theta. Alright so this is what I do if x is 0 or if y is 0 like you'll see in the next problem we do. So here x is 0 so remember remember what we did in the last problem we just plot it 0 negative 3 that would be about right in there well look, there you go, you got theta, it's 270 degrees. So theta is 270. You don't have, you, there's no sense in using the tangent theta equals y over x. Okay, you've got it right here. It gives you the angle. And so, now I'll write it in trigonometric form. So that's 3, and then I'll just, I'll write it in the abbreviated form. And I'll write it out to 3 times cosine 270 plus i times sine 270. So this form or, you know, there's the abbreviated form. All right, last one, 3. Rewrite 3 in trigonometric form. All right, so, and here we see that x is 3 y is 0 because 3 is the same thing as 3 plus 0 times i. So see x is 3 y is 0. All right, so r is square root 3 squared plus 0 squared and that's 3 and now we need theta. So let's plot it. X is 3, Y is 0. That's there. So obviously you can see here, theta is 0 degrees. All right, so write the complex number. That would be, what, 3 times cosine 0 plus I times sine 0. Or if we write it in the compact form, that would be 3, and then CIS, 0 degrees. Okay. All right, so hope this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. All right, thanks.